work out for seniors or just anyone looking to do a low impact routine. We're gonna do a seated workout. I'm gonna use some light hand weights, um, but there's no equipment required for this exercise. You can even also reach in your fridge and get some water bottles if you want to. I wanna encourage you all to make this workout your own, whether it's increasing weight or using no weight at all. We're gonna do a warm up followed by the workout and then jump into a short cool down. I'm so happy and excited to have you here today. Now let's go ahead and get right into this. Okay, we wanna start by getting seated down. We're gonna start with a high knee and reach. So opposite side arm and hand is gonna work together. We're gonna reach up, bring that opposite side knee up. And we're gonna focus on keeping proper posture and form just reach up like you're trying to place or grab something off the shelf. All the way up, all the way down. We're not going to count any reps today during the warm up or the workout. It's just going to really be moving at a pace that you feel is comfortable for you. This is going to be a full body routine, so everything is going to get hit today. So we're just going to breathe and we're going to do it for a few seconds. All right, we're gonna move into a twist. So we're gonna twist side to side. This one's gonna be a little bit interesting. You're gonna wanna make a decision on your own about how much you feel comfortable twisting. And it's dependent on your range of flexibility. I encourage you to take it all the way until you feel a slight stretch, but that's about it. We don't want to feel the need to really overexert or push yourself into the stretch. Make sure you keep your core tight. Keep those arms as parallel as possible. And make sure you breathe. All right, so this next one's gonna loosen up our backside. It's gonna be a posterior swing. We're gonna swing our hands through our feet. We're pushing our hips back, but we're gonna bend over at about a 45 degree angle. Make sure you keep your core tight and your back straight. And your head and eyes up make sure you're breathing through this and again on this one you want to go down to a point to where you feel comfortable it's all about focusing and trying to feel that press in your hips behind you All right, so next we're gonna work the upper body. We're gonna do an arm pullover. Just kind of have your feet shoulder width apart, bend over slightly at a 45 degree angle. And we're gonna try to move our hands slightly behind us and then over and up. This is gonna improve your mobility and range of motion in your shoulders. All the way overhead and then back behind us. You might not be able to get as far as I am right now, but that's totally okay, so. Everybody has to start somewhere, so just go as far as possible as you can. The more you do this, the more you're going to get better at it. Tomorrow, you're going to be able to go a little bit more. Make sure you feel that stretch in there, and make sure you focus on the breathing. All right, stretch it out, shake it out. Warm up is now complete. We're warm now. All right, so we're gonna move into a fast feet. You're just literally running in place. Using your arms and your feet, you wanna make sure you have soft taps in your feet. The key is just keeping your ground contacts nice and light.
easy on the joints is what I say, nice and soft. And again, we're breathing, focusing on those goals. What brought you here today? Cause that is what's gonna get you through this exercise. All right, so we're gonna either need one hand weight or that one water bottle. So we're gonna bend over at a 45 degree angle with our weight in our hand and one opposite arm behind our back. And we're just gonna do a row, pulling back with your elbow, keeping your back straight, your core stays tight. And you wanna try to keep your shoulders square to the ground. This is a good exercise because it not only improves strength, but it's gonna improve your posture and stability. With just that one weight, your core is forced to stabilize. So just keep pulling that weight back. Again, this is all at a pace that is comfortable for you. It might be faster than me or it might be slower. This exercise is not about me, it is about you and you coming back a little bit better each and every time that you do this routine. So we just switch sides and we're basically just doing the same thing. Breathe, make sure you're breathing, getting that upper body strength in on this one. I'm just gonna go a few more seconds on this side. Stay strong, keep it going. All right, we're gonna set the weight down for the next one. And we're gonna scoot forward on the chair and slightly lean back. And we're basically gonna do a leg extension, a single leg extension. So you're just gonna raise your leg up and squeeze at the top. You never wanna skip leg day. And if you feel like you need to make this a little bit harder, you can do a two leg extension. It's all about trying to figure out what fits your current fitness level. And with every exercise, you wanna make sure you breathe. I mean, like I said, this is all about leg day. You gotta walk stairs, climb, hike, picking up your grandkids or kids. My legs are starting to burn it right now. Hopefully you're starting to feel it as well. Let's go a few seconds. All right, so we're gonna get ready to move back to the upper body. Give our legs a little break. So you just want to come forward on the chair, just lean forward a little bit at a 45 degree angle, and you're going to press up out of the chair. You're going to use your arms just to press. You're just going to get about a few inches of range of motion, but that's all you need. And you're going to feel this. It's going to help you gain a little strength in your upper body and arms. This is great for improving your pushing strength. Try not to use your legs too much on this one, so that way you're just focusing on the push. We're gonna do this for a few more seconds. Just keep breathing, breathing, breathing. All right, so the next one is gonna be an elbow to knee. You're gonna put your hands on your head and we're gonna do opposite elbow to knee. Either way, just make sure you bring that knee up with a slight crunch down. And it's okay if you can't get your knee up that high. As 
as long as you get that knee up off the ground and you give your best you get that mobility and flexibility and it'll continue to improve over time as long as you're putting in the repetition putting in that work what you're doing right now you'll be fine just keep it up making sure you want to keep breathing because this is a total body move working the legs core and even your shoulders might feel it a little bit we're just gonna go a few more seconds on this one you're doing great just keep breathing All right, shake it out, shake it out. So we're gonna grab our hand weights with this one. We're gonna do a high pull plus calf raise. So we're both gonna bend over a little bit. We're gonna pull those elbows up high and then come up on the balls of our feet. Just pull up on the balls of your feet. Make sure you use that energy from your legs to help you pull from your upper body to get those elbows up high. This is great for your upper back, your posture, and just keep making sure you're breathing and keep that core tight. You guys are doing great. We don't have much left. Just keep going through it. Just go ahead and push through this workout. Think about all the accomplishment you're doing with this workout and when it's all in said and done. Breathe and move. You're doing awesome. A few more seconds. All right, so for the next one, we're just going to do one of our hand weights. We're going to do a wood chop. So we're going to come up, and then we're just going to go cross downward to the opposite side. Making sure you're getting that rotational strength on this. Big power, use that energy, boom, you're chopping wood. Up and down, making sure you're breathing. Again, you're moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with. If you need to take a minute, that is totally fine. If you need to go lighter in weight, or you don't even have to use weight at all. All right, let's go to the other side, reaching up and big power chop. This workout today is going to help you master your daily activities of daily living, just your day to day life, chores, your posture, balance, stability, strength. All right, a few more seconds. All right, so we're done with that. We're gonna set our waist to the side and we're gonna do a good morning. So you're gonna to wanna to extend your legs. Put your hands on your head and just keep your back straight and bend forward. So you wanna make sure you emphasize on keeping your back straight. You're gonna really feel it in your hamstring and the stretch in your backside. And this is also another great exercise to help improve your posture, restore your natural upright stance. We're just gonna go a few more seconds with this. All right, shake it out. All right, so we're gonna use one hand weight with this one. And we're gonna go into a hammer curl shoulder press. And it's a four count movement. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Making sure you wanna press all the way up to the top. It's all about that press straight up to the top giving you that range of motion and flexibility, you're gonna get better at it each and every time that you do this. 
try to go at a slow steady pace you don't want much momentum on this one all right so we're feeling good we're gonna switch to the other side feeling good feeling great getting better each and every time that we do this we came here today to improve get better general fitness you might even be training just to save your life so act like it you're putting in work we're just gonna go a few more seconds on this side All right, so this next one, we're gonna do a hip opener, kind of scooch up a little bit in front of your chair, slightly lean back with this. And this is gonna target your hips, your abductors. Good, you're working through it. You guys are doing great. Appreciate you working out with me today. Fighting through to the end together. Let's go, a few more seconds. All right, so that's the end of the workout and uh, we're just gonna have a slight little cool down. So we're gonna start with a bent arm stretch. So basically you wanna go ahead and put your arms up and you're just gonna pull your elbows back. Make sure you feel a nice little stretch, but not too much of a stretch to where it's uncomfortable. This once again is gonna always go back to working on improving your posture. And a few seconds, relax, relax. All right, so next we're gonna stretch our back and do a reach. So uh, it's the swimming reach as you saw. So just pull over, reach. Reach like you're reaching for something out in front of you. Pull and feel those lats stretch and pull apart. Breathe and reach and reach and reach. your upper body forward good you got this we're almost there there you go all right so we're gonna move on to our hamstrings so we're gonna put one leg out we're gonna bend over at our waist and gently press down on our knee and pull back on your toe Gently press down. You should feel this in your hamstring. And we're gonna move over to the opposite side. We're gonna do the same thing. As you pull that toe back towards you, you should feel it a little in your calf and your glutes. Just gently apply pressure as needed. Not too much though. Making sure you're always breathing and pulling back simultaneously. All right, so this last one is a waterfall. 
bring your elbow in to your side, palm down, and grab it with your opposite hand and just pull down on those fingers. This is gonna really relax your wrist muscles, wrist forearm stretch, especially if you spend a lot of time on the phone or on the computer, a lot of times your wrists and forearms are gonna be super tight. Just make sure you make sure you feel the stretch real good, but not so much to where it's gonna hurt. Stretch is also good if you're a really big rider. All right. Now we're gonna move to the last one. Heart rate should be coming down by now. Workout's almost done. Just keep breathing. You can cross this one off the list. You put in the work today. Relax. Thank you so much for working out with me today. If you enjoyed this workout and you got a little bit of sweat, please hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe uh, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I, I wanna hear from you. Leave a comment down below on what you liked about this workout. And I'll be sure to pop more workout videos in for you all. Also, please stay connected with me. Uh, my links are down below to my Facebook and my Instagram. I wanna get to know you, I wanna talk, I wanna see how I can help you. Anyways, you only got one life, stay home will be great. Love yourself so you can love somebody. And I'll see you on the next post. Peace.